Mr. Hirai's Microbial Environmental Engineering and Technology Research Institute is located at his home in Shiga Prefecture. This 3.3 square meter prefab structure next to the house is Mr. Hirai's laboratory, his home base, so to speak. While Mr. Hirai goes to the client's manufacturing facility for specific research projects concerning microorganisms, such as for organic compost and fermented feed supplements, this is where he normally conducts his experiments, including those dealing with the cultivation of microorganisms. Most of his work as a researcher up to now has remained unacknowledged by the academic and corporate world. He has faced many difficulties. Mr. Hirai first became interested in environmental problems in the mid-1960s. At that time, new westernized lifestyles brought about greater abundance and consumption, and in so doing, introduced a major social problem, excessive amounts of waste. Industrial waste from large factories, the driving force behind rapid economic growth, gave birth to serious pollution problems as well. This was the backdrop for the times when Mr. Hirai first went to the United States and became aware of the microorganisms in question. It was Mr. Kenneth Etter, a private researcher, who inspired Mr. Hirai to devote himself to the study of microorganisms. Seeing Mr. Etter, the fact that something like this existed in the soil, in the air, and so much on the grass, I became very excited over the fact that such a world existed. My interest grew together with my astonishment. Who is Mr. Etter? This person is, well, there is this germ called bacillus, which belongs to one of the oldest groups of germs on Earth, the kind which has spread the most for many usages. This bacillus, a long and thin germ, not a round one, this germ as a base, he put them together with other kinds of germs and succeeded in cultivating bacteria and discovered a new formulation of it. He was certain that this formula would work. Does that mean it will not work only with bacillus? No, not by itself. Definitely no. I've tried and it didn't work. Inspired by Kenneth Etter and his ideas, Mr. Hirai returned home to pursue research into application technologies that would provide solutions to some of Japan's own environmental problems at his own expense. Three, then four years passed without any tangible results, and his debts continued to rise. Yet, Mr. Hirai pushed on, his conviction never wavering that microorganisms indeed held great promise. Well, I was really absorbed in it. If you have time to think, that means you still have a composure in life. When you are obsessed, you will put hands on whatever chances that come. This is the truth. If you once start something and give up right in the middle of it, that is the most foolish thing you can do. So you just have to carry on. That's actually how I started. But to do something that no one else has done before, without hesitation, or without the fear of the potential failure, but just to be ready to accept whatever comes in your life. If you can reach that point, this feeling is too good to be true. It's a feeling of joy, which is too good to be true. That's my way of thinking. It took about a decade, but finally, Mr. Hirai's research efforts were rewarded.
In 1975, Mr. Hirai discovered something that would turn his work around. It was while exploring the mountains of Japan in his spare time when he made the discovery. At first appearance, it was just a plain-looking piece of rock. It was a hoard of treasure. A true hoard of treasure for life. <laughs> this one shows clearly. This part that is broken and exposed. It looks like a plain piece of rock, which might be found anywhere. But actually, you can't find it everywhere. It may be unique in this area. It is mostly silicon and aluminum, holding extremely small amounts of many, many elements. When it becomes ionized and dissolves in water, or dissolves in stomach acids, it acts as the motor for various enzymes inside the body. It helps these enzymes work. It dissolves well in the organic acids from fermented microorganisms. So you can mix ground rock with grain, or use even finer powder to activate water. The rock Mr. Urai found was a kind of pegmatite, a family of rocks which includes ores with medicinal properties that also serve to activate microorganisms.